Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can work with the strings in TypeScript. So first of all, let us see what is string and how we can declare a string. Then we will see how we can perform different operations on strings. So let me open my Visual Studio code and here under my project, I'm going to create a new test script file. I will name it as strings.ts. And inside this, I'll show you first how many ways we can declare a string. So in TypeScript, if you want to declare a string, we can just specify a var keyword or a let keyword, or I'll say some string variable, I'll say str, that's the name of the string, or simply we can say my string. And uh, here, type is optional, so because uh, TypeScript is a type language, we can specify the type of the variable, which is string, and then we can assign the value into it. Let's say, I'll say welcome to TypeScript. Okay, you can add some value like this semicolon statement will end with the semicolon so we can specify the type or, or else if you don't want to specify the type this is optional and if you don't want the specific uh, you don't want to specify the type you can define like this or else you can also use let keyword let's say my string my string one right so you don't need to specify the type directly also you can assign the value i'll say welcome I'll say welcome so this is a way we can define the strings in TypeScript, you can specify either var keyword or let keyword. And uh, my string is a variable name. Here, my string one is another variable name. And here, the type is mentioned as per the TypeScript standard. And then this is the value. In the second case, here I haven't specified any type, but still it will accept. So these are the two ways we can create string variables in TypeScript. So now we'll see what are the different operations we can perform on this TypeScript. I'll put this here. Now let's see on this particular string variable, I'll show you how we can perform different type of operations by using string functions, or we can say string methods. In TypeScript, which is provided uh, different type of functions by which we can do certain operations on the strings. Now we'll see what are those functions. The first function is uh, caret. So what this function will do is, from this particular string, if you want to extract a specific character, we can extract that by passing index value. So for example, let us say uh, str, I'll say my string, my string dot uh, caret, I'll say my string dot caret, and it can say some index number as a zero. So index will start from zero. So in the zero position, we have a W. So this particular statement will return W. So now we can just print that value. I'll say console dot log and my string dot caret of zero. So this should return W as an output. And similarly, if I pass index something, let's say two. So I'll pass index as a two. Now it will count from zero. This is zero, one, and two. And the third, uh, zero, one, and two. Index will start from zero. So in the second position, we have L. So caret is a method which will return a specific character from a string based upon the index we passed. So that is a correct method. Now let us uh, see the output. First of all, we need to convert this file into JavaScript file for the time opening new terminal. And in, in the terminal, first I need to convert that into JavaScript file. So for that, I'll say ts uh, strings.ts. Sorry, it is not ts, actually it is a tse. So once you compile your test script, which will generate JavaScript file. Yeah, now it is generated. Now by using node.js, I'll say by using node, I'm executing JavaScript file. Here I'm giving a node command, node and uh, strings.js. So now we can see W is an output of the first statement, L is output of the second statement. So caret is a method which will return a specific character based upon the index we passed. So that is about caret method. So now we have one more method called concat. Concat method, how to use concat. So concat is a method by which we can join two or more strings. So for example, let me define two strings. I'll say var str1, which is string type, and equal to, I'll just add some value into it, let's say welcome. Then I'll define one more variable, let's say str2. This is also string type, and here I'll say two TypeScript. So now I have defined two strings, str1 and str2. Now I want to concatenate these two strings, or I need to join these two strings. So for that, what I can do is say simple str dot concat of 
str2. So this will return the concatenated string. And then I can print that by using console. Let's say console.log and str1.console of str2. So this is basically written. Welcome to TypeScript. So this whole thing will be written. Welcome to TypeScript. Suppose if I have it three strings, let us say where str3. This is also string variable, and here I'll put some value. Welcome to TypeScript, and uh, let's say protractor. So now I have a three strings. So first we have a joined only two strings. Now we need to also add third strings. So for that I can say dot again one more contact concat and here specify the string three str3 now first str will str1 will be concatenated with s2 and the whole string will be again concatenated with the s3 now the final return value should be welcome to typescript and the protractor so this will be added here so this is a basically concatenation so we can concatenate more than two strings by using concat method now let us compile the script and say once again. So I have compiled the test script. And what is successfully compiled, then I am running this by using node. So now you can see this is a first concatenated string which is written welcome to TypeScript. And this is another concatenated string which we have concatenated three different strings. So this is a concat method. Now we also have one more method replace replace so how to use replace function so replace function can be used to replace a specific character in a string with a new character or we can also replace a sequence of characters so for example here i'll define str uh, str i haven't defined anywhere so let me just define a new variable str and equal to here i'll say uh, typescript programming Okay, this is my whole string. Now in this thing, I want to replace, uh, let's say here there is a E, right? So there is a one called E is there. So also we have only once A is there. So I is repeating. So here I is once and here two times I is repeating. So I want to replace all I's with a new character. So how we can do is I'll say str dot replace. And here we have to specify which character you want to replace. So the single quotation or double quotation you can use. So which character you want to replace? I want to just replace I and with the new characters, I'll say X. So now I want to replace all I's with X character. All right, so now I'll put the whole statement. This will return the, the entire, uh, entire string, but uh, wherever the I is repeated, so it will replace all I's with X. So let me just print this value. I'll say console dot console.log and str.replace of i comma x. So this will replace basically single character. Suppose I want to replace multiple characters or sequential sequence of characters. Let us say I have a type, so that I need to replace with, let's say Java. Okay, so now TypeScript becomes a JavaScript. So type is replaced with the Java. So this is another way to replace. So one more bracket is missing. All right, so the first statement will return the whole a string after replacing all i's with x now this particular statement will return javascript programming because type is replaced with java so in this we can replace either single character or multiple characters and a single or multiple characters can be put in the single quotations or in double quotations all right so now again we need to compile it uh, into javascript and once javascript file is generated then we can execute javascript file yeah, now it is generated. Now I'm running strings.js. Now you can see here, it is uh, TypeScript programming. So X I's are replaced with X. Here it is replaced. And, but uh, the first time only it is replaced. You can see I is replaced with X. It is not replaced here, right? So, but in the second case, type is replaced with the Java. So type is replaced with the Java. So this is the functionality, okay? All right, so in Java, we have a replace functions where all the i's will be replaced with x. So because uh, how many occurrences i is repeated in all the occurrences, x will be repeated. But in the TypeScript, this will replace only in the first occurrence. So wherever i is repeated, only the first occurrence, 
that character will be replaced with a new character. So this is a replace function. Now, after that, we also have one more function called split function. Now let's see how to use a split function. So split function will split the entire string into multiple pieces based upon the delimiter. So for example, uh, let me just define a variable called var and uh, I'll just say fruits string equal to and here I'm just uh, adding a string which contains some fruits, let's say apple and I'll say okay, banana and I'll say orange. So now I have a three strings. Now currently this, this whole thing is considered as one string. Now I want to split them into multiple pieces based on the uh, delimiter. So here the comma is delimiter. Sometimes you may have space also. So based on the space also, you can uh, divide, you can also split these values. Let me just take the space here. And now I want to split this into multiple parts. So for that, what you can do is take this variable dot split, right? So we need to just split and here. So what is the delimiter? So the current delimiter is just say space. So just give one space here. All right, so after that, I'm just printing it console.log fruits.split, and I'm just giving space as a delimiter. And uh, now we'll see what this will print. Let me just compile it into TypeScript. Compile the TypeScript. So after compilation, then we will get JavaScript file, then compare JavaScript. So now we can see this is a output which is written by this statement. So that means it is splitted all uh, complete string into three parts based upon the delimiter. So here the delimiter can be the comma or if you have a space or some other characters. So we need to specify the delimiter here. So currently the delimiter is space. So I'm just say only space here. So now the whole string is converted into three different uh, values will be saved in array. So this is a one way to do this. Suppose from this array, I want to extract specific uh, values as so I want to extract apple or I want to extract apple or banana or I want to extract all of them. So how we can extract. So again, use the same function. First to split into uh, split all of them into uh, the three parts based on the delimiter and after splitting. So I say here. So here fruits dot split and uh, based on the space it will split and comma I'll say for example uh, I'll say for example two here comma two so when it's two what happens is first two values will be returned so first thing foods dot split wherever the space is occur it will uh, split the entire string into three parts based on the space now it will become three parts among these three parts when I say two the so first two parts will be returned so that means the same array will be written but the first two values will be there and the last value will not be there or suppose I want to get only the first value. So then I can say the same thing foods dot split and instead of two, simply I can say one. So from all the strings, from all the pieces, it will just give you only one. When I say two, it will give you first two. When I say three, it will give you three. So it depends upon the values here, number of values, it will extract those many number of values from the array. So this is how we need to use split function. Now let us execute one more time and convert that dot script into javascript file yes once it is converted then i am running javascript file so now you can see the first statement is written three values second statement written two values third statement is written a single value so this one written only single value because we said just only one so this is an output so this is how we need to use split function so now we have one more function called substring. Substring. So by using substring, we can extract some portion of the string from the actual string. So now we'll see how we can extract the substring. So let me just define a variable, let's say str. str, I think I already defined. So I no need to specify the where or let. Simply I can uh, change the value or I can update the value. Let's say str equal to, uh, in the double quotation, I'm putting some string called welcome. So here I want to extract some portion of the value. Let's say I want to extract first three characters or last three characters or some characters from the middle. So for that I can use substring method. So how we can use it? I'll say str.substring 
str.substring and here we have to pass starting and ending index. And whenever you count the starting index, let's count from zero. So when I say zero, this is the starting index. Zero position, we have a W. And a comma, ending position. So suppose how many characters we need. We need to count from one. So one, two, three. So three characters I need. So I'll say three here. So now what is the string we will return? It will return from zero to three means zero means starting index from W. Three is an ending index. So three means ending index, we have to count from one. So this is one, two, three. So here the thing is we need to uh, carefully count the values. Starting index, we need to always start from zero, one, two, three, and so on. So let's say welcome here. Let me write here. This is my welcome. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, five and six. So this is a starting index. When you're counting ending, ending index, you start from one. This is a one, two, three, four and so on. So here when I say zero comma three, starting index is zero. So we need to count from W and ending index three means we need to count from one, one, two, three. In the third position, we have L. So between W and L, we have one more character here. So totally W E L will be written from zero to three. So this will return W E L. So that is an index. And similarly, let me write one more statement. I'll say, I'll put this in console.output. I'll say console.log. And this will print output in my console window. Right, so after that, I'll write one more statement. Let's say, uh, here I'll say two comma five. So when I say two comma five, which will be written, what was the value will be written here is two comma five means so two is a starting index, we need to start from L. Five means ending index, we need to start from one. So one, two, three, four, five. In the fifth position, we have O. So between L and O, there is a C. So L, C, O will be written. L, C, O will be written. Now let us see. Uh, first thing is, uh, this second thing is L, C, O will be written. And the first thing is written W, E, L. Now let us test this. I'm just going to compile the script once again. Let me clear, compile the TypeScript. Now it is generating JavaScript file and it's generated. Now we can run this as node. Now you can see WEL is a substring of the main string which is written from zero to three position. Two comma five means LCO will be written. So this is how we can use substring to extract a specific value or a portion of the string from the main string. So that is all about substring. And similarly, we also have two uppercase and two lowercase methods. Basically, these two methods will convert uh, the whole string into uppercase letters or in the lowercase letters. So for example, let's have a string here, str equal to TypeScript programming. So here I have a mixed case letters. But finally, two uppercase letter, uh, two uppercase method will return the whole thing into uppercase characters. I'll say str dot, str dot, uh, I'll say two lowercase, two lowercase. This is a method and I'll print this value. I'll say console dot log, str dot lowercase. And the whole thing will be converted into lowercase. And uh, similarly, instead of lowercase, I can use two uppercase, I'll say two uppercase and uh, this will convert the whole thing into uppercase characters. So this is case conversion. Let me run one more time. Save it. Uh, compile test script. And once it is compiled, then we have to execute JavaScript file. So now you can see the whole string is converted into lowercase letters. This is written the whole string into lowercase letters. And the two uppercase method is written everything into uppercase characters. So this is a how we need to use two uppercase and two lowercase. And we have one more last function which is trim function. So trim. So here we have a three uh, uh, three flavors of trim function we have. One is trim left, trim right and trim. So trim is nothing but it will basically trim the uh, spaces right and left sides. Suppose let's say I have a string here str and here I'm giving some space and I'll say some string and again, I'm giving some space. So here the, the space is also will be considered as a string. So now whole thing is there. So here there is left side space and there is a right side space. Both sides have a spaces. 
Now I want to remove both side spaces. I want to extract exactly string. So for that, I, what I can do is say str dot trim. So this will return the uh, uh, whole string after removing the spaces as the right as well as left side. I'll say console dot log. Console dot log str dot string. So this will return the whole string after removing the spaces right and left side after removing the after trimming the spaces. Now similarly, we also have one more method trim right. And also we have trim left. Trim left also we have. So this will give you, this will remove only left side spaces and this will remove only right side spaces. Trim method will remove right as well as left side spaces. So let me execute this once again. So we need to again compile it into JavaScript. So once it is compiled, then we have to execute javascript file so now you can see this is given the whole string after removing after trimming right and left side spaces and here it is trimmed only right spaces but still the left left side space is still there and here it is trimmed only left side spaces but still right side space is still there so this is how we need to use trim function okay so these are the few string methods we have in TypeScript and we can use these methods to perform certain actions or operations on the strings. All right. So this is all about this video guys. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.